Hi everyone, it's Sade Champagne here. Happy Friday. This is May 15th, 2020. I am only going to be on for a few minutes today. I am at my academy slash studio office space filming today, so I'm really excited to get that going, but I have a word of encouragement for you all today and prayer for you that was on my heart since last night that I want to to share. So for those of you who are just tuning in, I want to encourage you to first off, let me know how you're doing. How's everything been going? Give me the thumbs up if you can see me. Give me the heart. Give me the surprise face. Give me the laughing emojis, whatever you'd like. And I'd love to be able to know that you are tuning in. And also make sure you share this with anyone you know who's going through a difficult time or who can receive from this video. So this video is encouragement and prayer for those who have been struggling mentally, emotionally, feeling weary, and those who have been feeling tormented in their sleep and who have insomnia, nightmares. This video is for you. It's something that I have had the pleasure to be able to pray for a lot of people about. There's many people I'm praying for that reach out to me that I talk to them about this and I just know that this is a timely message. So. If you can see me clearly and hear me, give me thumbs up, give me some hearts, all that good stuff. All right, so let's get this going. Encouragement and prayer for anyone you've been feeling, you've been struggling mentally, you've been struggling emotionally, you are feeling weary, you're feeling tormented in your rest, and you're dealing with a lot of nightmares. I want you to know that this is not the end of your story. This is not the end of your story. I know when I used to struggle with a lot of fear, anxiety, depression, insomnia, panic, paranoia, all those things, it felt like that was always going to be my story, even though I knew deep down that God had destined me for more. I knew deep down, but because of what I was going through and experiencing, uh, we feel weary. We feel weary and then what you begin to feel is that everything that's happening to you and what, what's going around, you know, what's happening around you and what you're feeling from within, you begin to think that that's your whole life and that's just, it's just how it's gonna be. And that's how hopelessness sets in, that's how despair sets in, that's how suicidal thoughts oftentimes set in. But I want you to know today that this is not the end of your story. This is not the end of your story. I am a living testimony and living proof to what Jesus can do in someone's life and how God can set you free. I am living proof of that. This is not the end of your story. I want you to know today, you've been looking for proof. You've been looking for signs left and right everywhere. How am I supposed to know that I'm supposed to be here today? How am I supposed to know that it's gonna get better and this is just not the end for me? This is the proof right here. This message right here is a confirmation and encouragement for you that you are supposed to be here and this is not the end of your story. This is so powerful for you to recognize because when you understand that your story is so much more than this moment, it will give you hope and faith and confidence for your future. It will help you to not feel so overwhelmed and overcome by what is going on around you. You know, I always say that when a person is free in here and in here, they can never be chained again. It doesn't matter what they experience in this world. When we are free in our hearts and in our minds and our inner beings, nothing and no one can ever take that away from us. Next, God has not left you or forgotten about you. God has not left you or forgotten about you. It's so unfortunate that so many religious leaders and teachers and places are teaching this to people that God is upset with them and that God has forgotten about them and that God has left them. It's impossible. God will never ever leave you. You are not alone. You will never be left alone. It is impossible for God to leave you. It is impossible. God is with you and for you. God has not forgotten about you. You are literally, as my best friend Christina Renee would say, you are a top priority in God's eyes. You are not forgotten no matter what the situation may look like or what you've been going through today. 
I'm, when I'm speaking life to your mind and encouragement to your mind. There's so many lies that are all around us. There's so many things every moment of the day that's trying to drain us from our energy and pull from us and bring us back to where we, where we would never find ourselves being. But how awesome is it to know that as we are receiving these truths, as we are being encouraged, as we are encouraging one another, faith is rising up in us and true life is being brought back into our beings. All right, so God has not left you or forgotten about you. God has not left you or forgotten about you. Jesus understands everything that you are going through. Jesus understands everything that you are going through. There's nothing that you will ever experience in this world that God has not also felt and experienced with you. This is powerful for us to be able to understand because we're so quick to think that we are alone, that we are forgotten, that we are in this by ourselves, and we, we fail to forget or, re, or we fail to remember that there's a God who understands every single thing that we have experienced in this world. God tasted every single thing. And no matter what it is that you're experiencing today, God is feeling every single part of your life that you're feeling. Every single part of your pain, anything that you're experiencing today, from the biggest things to the smallest things, God is experiencing it with you. I, there's no way that we're on this side and God's on this side and he's like, hey, I did my whole part. Come on, shut I'll, I'll see you on the other side. You need to figure it out for yourself. No, are you kidding me? God is wherever we are. If I'm right here on this side and I'm feeling like I'm in a battle and I'm, I'm struggling with something, guess who's on the side with me? God is on my side with me. And so I want to encourage you with that message today that God is on your side and with you. And this is so powerful for you to be able to receive today that you are not in this by yourself that God understands and feels every single thing that you feel. God is experiencing life with you. This is huge because guess what? If God can feel everything that you feel, you can feel everything that Jesus feels. You can feel all of God's joy, love, hope, kindness, courage, confidence, peace, hope, life. Every single thing that God feels, you too can feel as well. And so I wanna encourage you with that truth today. You are not in this by yourself. Jesus understands and feels every single thing that you feel. Next, God will vindicate you and God is the fighter of your battles. God will vindicate you. I'm speaking to someone right now whose mind has been troubling them and you've been going through all different types of crazy thoughts and you've been having thoughts come at you this place and that place where you feel like you can't even control it. Control it. I want you to know that God will vindicate you and is the fighter of your battles. You can stand in the goodness and the grace of Jesus, knowing that God will make a way for you and that God will fight your battles for you. That's one of the biggest things that I realized and saw throughout my life. As I look back, I can see like, wow, look what God has been able to do in my life. Look at how God has been able to bring transformation and healing and so much grace and, and literally change things around for me in my favor. And I'm so glad that I was able to stand and stay in that truth. Even when sometimes I didn't feel like I was standing. Sometimes I felt like I was being pulled underneath. But guess what? God always lifted me up and God always encouraged me and empowered me and brought life to me. And I also want you to know that it's so important to think about what is it that you believe? What do you believe and what are the messages that you are listening to? It's, you have to be so conscious of that. Do not just listen to everything in the news and everything that everyone is saying because that will literally discourage us and bring us so much, you know, um, so much just uh, torment to our minds because there's ever information everywhere. And my pastor, Greg Henry, who is one of my mentors as well, he talks about this, that all information is not created equal. All information is not created equal. It's so important to think about what is the information you're taking in. And sometimes we have to turn off the news. Sometimes we literally just have to turn it off and you have to turn off people that are speaking negative and discouraging things to you. And you have to just sit and say, God, what is it that you say about my life? Who is it that you say that I am? And I just want you to be the one to encourage me and remind me of the truth and of the life that you have promised me. 
And God will always speak to you. God will lift you up. You can watch messages of people that are speaking the truth and encouraging you and not things that are making you feel afraid and tormented and like you don't know what's gonna happen in your life. I want you to be encouraged by this today. And I know that God is encouraging your heart and your spirit even right now as this message is happening. And I wish that when I was going through everything that I experienced in my life with all the panic and paranoia, depression, anxiety, and all this, you know, types of of just stress and pain in my life that someone was telling me the things that I'm telling you all today. I want you to be encouraged in this and to know that God is for you and with you. So as we're going to finish up today, I want to make sure I check my notes really quick. All right, so we got all my notes. I want to pray for you all and we're going to end this video because like I said, I'm, I am filming today, so I can't stay on very long. And I just wanna thank you, God, right now. I, I pray for every single person who has been feeling discouraged, who has been struggling mentally, emotionally, who has been feeling like everything is just falling apart for them, and I just speak life to them right now. I thank you so much. Father God, for just bringing healing and life to every single person. I thank you that you are bringing transformation to their life and wholeness to them, to every single person. And even people that are feeling tormented in their mind right now, I thank you, Jesus, that you are bringing healing to their minds. If you're with me right now and you've been going through this, I wanna encourage you to put your hand over your head and over your heart, and I'm gonna be praying for your mind and for your heart right now. Father God, I thank you so much for bringing healing to their hearts and their minds that you are bringing peace to their hearts and their minds, reminding them that you have never forgotten about them, that you always care for them, that you always lift them up, that you always believe in them and cherish them and care for them. And I just thank you so much for bringing life to every single person. I thank you for bringing transformation to them. I thank you so much for just healing them. Every single person, if you've been feeling tormented in your sleep, I want you to know it's not too late for you, that Jesus is the one who's able to set you free and bring healing to your life. I I am a living testimony of that of what God has done in my life and I just want you to be reminded of this truth today and to know that God has a greater destiny for you your story will not end this way God has a greater destiny for you he's bringing healing to your mind healing to your heart and transformation to your life thank you all so much for tuning in today I'm sending you big hugs and so much love I chat with you all again soon and make sure you go and share this video with someone I'm gonna be filming lots of fun videos today um, at my studio office space, but I wanted to encourage you all, lift you up, and know that you are not alone, you are not forgotten, and that God is lifting you up. Doesn't matter how long you've been going through something or how troubled you've been feeling, you are not forgotten. So thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you later. Give yourself a big hug and so much love, and we'll chat again soon.